So if you just upgraded to Catalina, you've noticed one little problem. Almost every single app that was built with the 32-bit architecture no longer works. This is a problem that Apple has been warning everybody about for a long time. They've been saying they're going to upgrade for many years uh, and that they're going to get rid of the 32-bit library. Well, it happened. So now, if you upgraded to Catalina, none of your stuff works. I have a way to fix that. By following this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can run applications that are no longer allowed to be ran on Catalina. There's a way you can still execute all the Mac OS applications that are built in the 32-bit architecture on your Mac right now. And you can start this process absolutely for free by following this video. So let's get to it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and click that Apple logo and go to about this Mac. Now, the operating system that we have is going to depend on the type of uh, parallels that we're going to download. And we are going to download parallels, which is a piece of software that allows us to virtually run uh, a virtualization version of a computer okay on which we can install anything but what separates uh, the the software parallels that I'm suggesting in this video is that it has something called coherence mode uh, which I'll show right now and now since that's installed we can go ahead and start the coherence mode and what does that mean that means if we enter coherence we can see the other operating system right here on the bottom. And any applications that we have here, we can run. So we can have multiple instances uh, of the dock, you see. We can have multiple instances of photos, okay. If I open this Photos app, it's different than the Photos app that's natively uh, ran on the operating system that I'm on. So you see you can have two of them open at the same time. And that's really, really neat. This allows you to launch, if, if you're in Catalina, this allows you to launch 32-bit um, applications right here from another dock. It basically allows you to run a program within your computer okay a program that is totally native to the computer you're trying to emulate you can do this with windows linux uh many other operating systems that uh parallel supports but mainly what we're doing here is we are emulating an older operating system we're basically creating a little virtualization computer on which we install an older operating system of uh macintosh or mac os and then we're going to install the program that you want to run on it. And then we're going to run it through coherence mode on uh, Catalina or what you know, whatever, app, whatever software that you have. We have Mojave here. Uh, it can still run 32-bit apps. But if you have Catalina installed, anytime you try to execute a 32-bit app, you can't. Uh, it's blocked. It doesn't have 32-bit library. Uh, and so we're going to install a virtual machine that, that has an older operating system that does have the 32-bit library and then we're going to run the program from there and then we're going to enter something called coherence mode and it will look as if we're running it directly from Catalina. Okay, so let, let, let me show you this. Now these right here, uh, links are in the description, okay? And these links are basically links that correspond to the Parallels version that you will need for the operating system that you have, okay? So to make this work, uh, for Mojave, we have uh, Parallels 14, okay? When you're in Catalina, you're gonna need to install Parallels 15 or 14, either one will work, okay? And these are the download links, so I'm just gonna copy this here, okay? And then I'm gonna open Safari, and I'm going to paste this here and I'm gonna press enter to go right now we're off we're gonna download that real quick 
Okay, here we go. Let's mount the image. I'll close the browser now. All right, so this is a double click installer. You just double click. Uh, if it warns you about this, uh, and sometimes it just directly doesn't allow you to install it, you can go into system preferences down here at the little gear icon, okay? And then you go to security and privacy here. And right here in grayed out letters, it'll say, uh, allow parallels to be installed. And it'll have a little button that says open here. You can just click this lock type in your system password uh, and say allow and then you can lock it back up and then next time you double click on the installer it'll open up for now the way that settings are on this current machine is just it gives me a warning I'm gonna say yes open You could install Windows 10 from here, uh, but that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to emulate older uh, Mac versions, so we're going to skip this. Now, this right here uh, is uh, where you can just sign up with your Google or Facebook uh, for a, a Parallels desktop account, and we'll just basically kick off a free trial version uh, so you can get this rolling today for free, no cost to you. And uh, here we're going to uh, click install uh, Windows or another operating system from the disk image and we're gonna hit continue okay and then uh, in the description of this video you're going to find links uh, to the uh, images that Apple has put out for free from their App Store now sometimes these don't work and Apple always changes their mind about sharing some information they might just uh, not one to release these operating systems. Of course, you can always find old disks uh, and uh, old USB drives, or you can download um, image files if you look around for the, the internet. You can find some of these operating system uh, DMG image files that you can download, and this process works the same way. But just for the convenience, in the description of this video, I have these links here for each operating system. For the sake of this tutorial, we're going to install uh, Mac OS uh, High Sierra, which is just one version lower than Mojave that we have installed. This is just an example of what it would be like if you had installed or updated your operating system and then realized that you couldn't go back, so you had to run something on the previous version. Well, here's a perfect example of how this would look. So we're going to download High Sierra. It's going to take us to the Mac App Store here. It's going to open the App Store. And it's going to ask us if we want to get it. We're going to say we're going to get it. Uh, we're signed in. So it's going to um, go ahead and download that image for us. All right, so it auto runs the application, but we're just gonna hit quit. Okay, and then we're gonna close this down. We're gonna check, we're gonna go to go, and we're gonna go into applications folder, and we're gonna see, oh, there it is, it's right there. So whenever you download it from the Apple Store, it usually places it right here into the applications folder. That's all we really needed. So we can just go ahead and safely close these down. Okay, and then uh, the uh, installation assistant for Parallels has already detected it here. So we're just going to hit continue. And we're going to go ahead and install it. It's going to recreate a uh, image file. And we're going to hit save and OK. All right, so it created an image file. Uh, now it's asking us where do we want to save the mag that we're going to create. I'm just going to leave it at default. Now it's going to go ahead and start up the operating system from the image and it's going to go through the entire 
installation process as if uh, as if we are a um, Apple computer. And it's going to ask me for a few uh, restrictions and access. Uh, I am going to um, not allow it access to my microphone and uh, video, but you can I'll open the system preferences and I'll allow it to do so uh, by going just checking this here. Okay. Okay, the operating system started. We're going to pick English for our main language. This is the installation process of putting a new operating system onto any Macintosh. This one is just a virtual machine. But the process would be the same with a um, with a brand new unit. We're just going to select install Mac OS. Click continue. Agree. Agree. Uh, we've picked the uh, hard drive uh, right here, which was dedicated to this uh, system by default. <clears throat> As you can see, that it got stuck there for a second. That's normal. It happens sometimes. The system will restart several times during the installation process, and this is a lengthy process. It takes about half an hour in total. Alright, so the Mac is book booting up <clears throat> so the Mac is booting up for the first time. Okay. Takes us through the process of setting everything up. Not gonna transfer anything, we're gonna choose to skip the uh, iCloud setup. going to set a simple password here. We're going to customize. We're not going to enable location settings. We're going to set our time based on New York. We're not going to share any data. As you can see, this is a different operating system, okay? Okay, so if it's running a little sluggish, what you can do is you can shut it down. You can shut it down and you can go to configure. You can go to hardware and you can increase the memory okay we can increase it to four gigabytes we can give it more graphics give it 512 okay and that should uh, already give it a huge boost okay uh, we can give it a few more processors I think two is fine okay and uh, now we're going to restart it And now the thing that we really want to do the thing that we really want to do is we want to install something uh, as you can see this is kind of sluggish every time that I click on something it just kind of lags uh, the 3d graphics they're just not there okay and so that is because we need to install something called parallel tools okay 
We can do that by going to Actions and selecting it. As you can see, I had to click it, it mounted it, and now we have to double click and install it. Once it gets done installing, we have to restart the system. All right, let's restart the system. Now, after installing the tools, we should be looking at a much faster system. Okay, and some things uh, get installed like shared drives. Now you can share folders between the two operating systems and so on. As you can see, whereas before it was lagging really bad when I clicked on the launch pad, uh, it, uh, it's relatively fast now. And now, since that's installed, we can go ahead and start the coherence mode. And what does that mean? That means if we enter coherence, we can see the other operating system right here on the bottom. And any applications that we have, here we can run so we can have multiple instances uh, of the dock you see we can have multiple instances of photos okay if I open this photos app it's different than the photos app that's natively uh, ran on the operating system that I'm on so you see you can have two of them open at the same time and that's really really neat This allows you to launch, if, if you're in Catalina, this allows you to launch 32-bit um, applications right here from another dock. So I hope this really helped. Uh, if it did, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for watching.